Team Sweden, are you ready? Are you ready to compete for the Olympics? Yes! Defend Stalin! I said, are you ready? Yes! Jag vaknar och var Sverige! As you go around the kitchen, you kind of feel that everyone is super focused and hopefully after this training everything is, is nailed by the book. So we know exactly what to do when we go down there. There's so many hours and hard work and passion and everything that goes into this. And we have one goal and you have to put, put all the energy and effort into it to, to fight for the goal. So. First of all, the Swedish culinary team uh, its not really a team, for me anyway, and I know I speak for a lot of them, it's, it's our family. The Culinary Olympics is uh, pretty much the biggest um, cooking competition in the world for teams, I, sh I should say. And it's composed with uh, participants from pretty much all over the world. When we're competing, we're not allowed to cook anything before we get into the kitchen. So basically you're opening up a restaurant from scratch at a new destination. That's kind of the whole competition. What we can do is we can peel like a lot of the vegetables and stuff like that. So it takes around two days to get ready to cook for six hours, which is quite crazy if you think about it, but yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we have two different um, competitions. The first one is Chef Table. Seven courses, seven servings for 12 guests. And then Hot Kitchen, uh, it's uh, 110 guests. Then they have to serve a three-course menu. When the kitchen's open, we have three hours to serve these 330 plates. So now they have started their preparations. We got five hours, and as you can see, the speed is very high. It's a good energy right now. We're competing at the absolute highest level that you can compete in in the, in the culinary world. So our main goal is to find the best products, of course, to compete with. We like our uh, suppliers and producers to be very environmentally conscious. There's a lot of heart, a lot of love going into the dishes when you when you see where it comes from. So the theme for this year is closer, and we want to get closer to the producer and closer to the heart of, of Swedish uh, ingredients. So we started a big journey in January last year when we were um, out to different producers all over Sweden. Because uh, it's so different where uh, in Sweden it comes from. Gotland, for example, got its own uh, taste. Uh, Skåne down uh, in the south got its own taste and up in the north it got its own taste. We're choosing our products like blind tasting. We're given like five or eight of the same product. We can be like six up to ten persons that's testing and everyone will not say the same. So then we can discuss what will be best for this course. It's um, very much trial and error. I mean, things that in your head sound really, really good, when you actually cook it for 120 people, don't always work out the way you planned. <laughs> so now we have uh, four hours and uh, one more hour to uh, service. So they are start cleaning the kitchen and then they will set up for uh, for service and start plate all the dishes that they are gonna serve uh, tonight. The judges uh, scores on everything, isn't it? Just the flavors is like how you do the plastic on the containers or how you use the knives and, or which knife you're using for which product and so many small stuff that's so important to, to win. There's a lot of techniques of course. Uh, we need to show what we can do in a limited amount of time 
Um, but the thing is that you should never forget that the actual taste is 50 points out of 100. So it has to taste good, otherwise we don't, you know, we don't even bother. I want the guests to, to feel like a small surprise when they see the dish or feel the dish. Everything from textures to from warm to cold. And then when you taste it, it's just going to be a happiness that you want to eat more. You can always cook good food, but it's hard to make a dish that you will remember like two years after. I get inspiration from like visit the restaurant or like old mentors that I had through the life and uh, from my small kid and just talking to passionate people like farmers that are really passionate about one product or something like that. So it can come from everywhere. The amount of time that we spend here uh, training and perfecting, perfecting the dishes, it's, I don't think anyone else can match that. Teamwork is everything because uh, we win as a team and we will lose as a team. That's the thing we have been working with a lot, just to be a great group and a great team.